Hey guys, my name is Micah Broom, and today we'll be talking about heroin assisted therapy. Um, I do want to apologize for the video quality. Uh, the audio on my screen recorder is not working, so I'm just having to use my phone, but let's just get right into it. So I'm sure we're aware of the problem. The opioid epidemic has been ravaging this country for years. Uh, we've, ha we've seen 47,000 opioid related overdose deaths just in the US in 2017, and that number has only increased in recent years. Uh, one in eight American adults say that they know someone affected by uh, opioid-related addiction, and there's also the very big issue of the growing fentanyl overdoses. Uh, fentanyl is uh, 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. Um, just to give you a vis visualization of how crazy that is, uh, you can see a fatal dose of fentanyl on a penny there very tiny, and even smaller is that speck of car fentanyl. Only 20 micrograms is enough to kill somebody. Um, below is a picture of a seizure done by the DA in, in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, that was all fentanyl. Uh, the DA said this is equivalent to chemical warfare. Is this much fentanyl is enough to cause an entire city to overdose? And just if they had opened one of those packages and breathed in a little bit, they would have overdosed. Uh, a promising solution that we have found is HAT or her heroin assisted therapy. Uh, this is the practice of giving medical grade heroin dosed by a professional. There's no risk of fentanyl lacing, dirty needles, or improper dosing. In a 2018 article, Dr. Bo Kilmer urges Americans to take this possible solution seriously. As though it may seem extreme, the benefits outweigh the risks which we will explore. Now, the practice of heroin assisted therapy is well established in many countries, including Canada, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, and Spain. This picture on the right shows a lab tech organizing needles in one heroin assisted therapy facility in Vancouver. Um, controlled studies of Swiss heroin assisted therapy treatment published in the Journal of Urban Health uh, showed that overdoses decreased significantly uh, with these HAT facilities. Uh, cases of HIV and hepatitis were also decreased in addicts. Um, surprisingly, cost was lower despite giving away free heroin. Um, the cost of pursuing these addicts and uh, treating them with naloxone or an overdose blocker as well as other medical costs were actually outweighed uh, by the benefits. Um, crime was also showed to decrease. Uh, of course, this could be correlation rather than causation. Um, however, uh, researchers seem pretty confident that due to the fact that heroin is free and uh, also free of any lacings or anything like that, um, this would cause the crime rate to go down as addicts are less likely to rob to support their habit. Now the problems are uh, definitely a huge obstacle in America. Um, there's a lot of societal, societal dissent surrounding addiction in America. Um, just last year in South Philadelphia, they tried to open a safe injection site and uh, thousands of people showed up to protest. Eventually, the nonprofit had to actually terminate their lease um, because of these protesters, because they were afraid for the safety of the addicts. And so, if even a safe injection site where, uh, you know, this is not even giving free heroin, this is just a place where addicts can get free needles. Uh, if this can't open in America, we could assume that there would be major resistance against something like heroin assisted therapy in America unfortunately. Um, here are my references. I'd be happy to email them to you if you ask for them in the discussion. A lot of them are very interesting to read about, so I urge you to read further about it, and I can't wait to hear your questions and your responses about heroin-assisted therapy. Thank you.